looking at what a heuristic function is. The term heuristic comes from the Greek word heuriskin, that is to discover. To solve many hard problems, it is not necessary or it is not possible to find the most optimum solution, the most correct solution. It is always better if you, if you could find the better solution among the available choices. So this heuristic is more like a tour guide. It will help you or it will point to different directions or to interesting points. So instead of us searching all the places, this will be like a guide which will help us to direct our search in a particular fashion. So this improves the efficiency of the search process by sacrificing the best solution. So now how do I define a heuristic function? Consider the example of an 8 puzzle. Um, this is my um, goal state. So I want uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 in this particular order. Is it possible to define a heuristic function for it? So how do I measure it? Yes, what we could do is the number of misplaced tiles in each of the misplaced tiles in the cube can be taken as an example. So now when we look at it, my initial go my initial state is this, my current state is this, and from this particular state I need to go to this state which is my goal state. And from this initial state, from this current state, it is possible for me to either go this way or this way or this way. So I can either move uh, uh, 6 towards the right, 5 towards the left or 8 down. So which of these will give me or will lead me to the solution? So my heuristic function should help me direct my search towards the goal state to find which of these is a possible legal move or which of these is the most optimum among these three we can define the heuristic function as the number of tiles in the correct position so if i tell the number of tiles in the correct position as my heuristic function the higher the number the better the value or if I have my heuristic function as number of misplaced tiles. So obviously the lesser the number, the better the heuristic function is. So from this example you can know it is easy to compute. And instead of me searching or instead of me finding out for all the three options, I can straight away jump to one option and then proceed on. So it saves my time and it also avoids me to go in the opposite direction of the search. So in simple words, I could define heuristic function as a function that maps my problem description into measure of desirability. Or it is a function which is going to define my current state, define my problem state in a more objective fashion, in a more uh, numerical fashion, so that it is easy for me to understand. So now think for a moment, what could be the disadvantage of using the heuristic function? Yes, it is not an exhaustive search function. So we might miss on the best possible solution available. Like when we consider the previous example, the tour guide. The tour guides will help us to find out the interesting or the most popular location but it doesn't necessarily map to my area of interest. A person might be interested in, uh, um, in exploring or adventuring few things which might not be covered in, in the tour map. So this could be a possible disadvantage. And the heuristic function can either be a simple function 
or it can be a complex function. We'll go on, move on to another example of what, uh, how we can define a heuristic function. So when you consider traveling salesman, what would be the heuristic function? Yes, the distance traveled from my current state, the distance from my current state to the destination. The lesser the value, the better the heuristic function is, right? So it's possible for me to define it in a number. Let us consider a very subjective question. Uh, why has inflation increased? Is it difficult to design? Or is it easy to design a heuristic function for this question? So this question is more subjective. I, I will not be able to measure it in terms of number. So in this particular scenario, it becomes very difficult for me to write my heuristic function. Uh, yes. Uh, now I will consider the simple hill climbing algorithm. So the algorithm goes like this. In evaluate the initial state. If it is the goal state, return or quit. If it is not the goal state, I will be applying the possible operators to my current state. That is, I will be evaluating the possible legal moves from my current state. And for any of the possible, randomly taken any of the possible uh, legal state, I apply the heuristic function. If it is better than my current state, I make a move. If it is not better than the current state, it continues in the loop to find another possibility. Uh, so here is an example of eight puzzle problem. Uh, so when you look at this example, the number of misplaced tiles are taken as the heuristic value. So lesser the value, better the heuristic function is. So obviously lesser the value, I will move forward. If my value is greater, I will have to stop. So consider the first uh, scenario. Uh, my h of n is 6. So from this particular state, there are two possible uh, moves. One, I can move 7 to the state. The other, I can move 8 down. So for each of the possible state, we are calculating the h of n value, that is the heuristic value. So the first uh, scenario, the heuristic value is 7. And for the second scenario, the heuristic value is 5. As we already uh, mentioned, that in this particular example, lesser the heuristic value it is the better function because we are calculating it for the number of misplaced tiles so we have five here so obviously from my current state i'll be moving to the state and from this state i have two possible moves one i can move five to my right hand side the other one i could move three down and for both the cases my heuristic function is six which is not a better value when compared to my previous state. So it. So as we saw, uh, both my states are going to give a value which is higher than 5. So both of them are not better than the previous state. So my algorithm is kind of struck here. It cannot move here or here. So I'm struck up here and this problem is exactly called as local maxima problem. So this local maxima is, is a scenario where I'm not reaching the goal state, but my algorithm is stuck up somewhere in the middle. It's almost like a stalemate or a deadlock scenario here. So there are very various variations of my hill climbing algorithm to handle the local maximum problem, which we will be looking at in further videos. Thank you very much.